Okay, well, let's go ahead and do Ray's video version of a Mercury Retort. Bought off of uh, from MakeYourOwnGoldBars.com. Um, this cylinder here, the square cylinder, is completely full of antifreeze. Um, this tube is one solid long tube. It goes all the way through the through the thing. As you heat it up, as you heat it up here, the mercury turns into a vapor, just like a steel would with alcohol. And that vapor's always going to be higher, and it's warmer than way down here at the bottom where you got water. Now, in this water, I also got some ice cubes. When the vapors start coming down, they're going to, as it comes through here, they're going to, as it comes through here, it condenses, condenses back from a vapor up here down to a liquid mercury here. And it'll go down and be caught down in the bottom of the water. I'll be using <coughs> two map gas bottles. Last time I tried this with my brother in town, it was, it took quite a bit of heat. Um, and here is the mercury laced with gold. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up and uh, extract the mercury from the gold. More later. Okay, it is outside. I'm viewing from inside the garage door with the garage door closed, so I am not breathing any vapors. It is beginning its heating process. Well, apparently this is not going to be a fast process. Let's see if I can get that, show that bubbling effect. Anyhow, it's not, uh, there's not a big puddle of mercury down here in my beaker. So, and it's already been 10 minutes. I mean, the heat is obviously creating a higher pressure than what the water is. So, the vapors, anything that was vaporized in the heating chamber is definitely coming through the cold water. And if it's mercury, it should light up. Well, it's been 45 minutes, and I still do not see... A puddle of mercury in the bottom of that water. So, I don't know. I'm going to give 15 more minutes and then I'm going to shut it down. I don't know. Me and my brother had a hard time with this darn retort last time we tried it. We had to get it really hot. And maybe the two map gases are just not enough. So, we'll see. I'm going to give it one full hour and then I'm going to shut the thing down. <coughs> pull the water so it don't have to take in... Uh, pull the water so it don't... Uh, Uh, suck back up into it and cause an explosion or anything. I, I've read that a couple, heard a couple of people comment that it does that. So I'll put it back a glass dish underneath it with some ice. But we'll see what happens. Okay, I am one hour into it, and I did not see any visible mercury in the bottom of that ice water. So we'll have to uh, see what happens when it completely cools down. Okay, now it's cooled off. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the darn thing. We're going to see if there's any mercury still in the bottom of this place with the gold. Yes, there is. All that heat, and it still did not go ahead and evaporate it away. I don't know, I'm giving a big thumbs down on this darn mercury retort thing. <laughs>